Hello. Hi. <clears throat> Talking. Yes. Hello, confetti club. Let's have a talk. I'd like to talk. I'd like to speak. I'd like to goss. I'd like to gab. I'd like to chat. And we are in a vehicle today. We are in my vehicle. This is Cherry. If you guys have been around for a while, this is still my car. This is my first car. She's still running kind of strong. Um, my summer tires are in the back there because we keep getting snow, so I still have my winters on. I don't know what's going on. Um, we are having a Cherry chat today. I guess I can still call them that because, yeah, I did like a couple of these... Uh, a while ago, many moons ago, a couple years ago, and it just, I've been driven by the forces that be lately to get in my goddamn car, drive to a sunny, rural, abandoned church parking lot. I'm sorry, sweet little Baptist church, this is maybe not the most God-honoring thing. <laughs> yeah, I needed to drive to a field and talk to you about my feelings because there's lots of them. And I think we're all feeling it, and I want to just... I feel like I have been putting on a mask. And it's not intentional, but these past few videos, I just... I, I feel genuine, and I never intentionally, like, amp it up or put on this persona, but... Oh my god, you guys, like, I just want to be able to sit down and, like, talk, 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 talk. And I, I've been getting some comments. I feel like the only comments that really stick with me are the, the negative criticisms that I agree with. And someone mentioned, they were like, I appreciate you talking about your mental health and things, but I think, you know, you don't need to be so, like, animated and over the top. And it's like, that is the way I am, but also, this is the way I am too. Hi, in a field, in my car. I've just been super off, and more off than usual. Um, I'm very open about my struggles with mental health and stuff. Uh, my primary diagnosis is BPD, which I received about a year ago. I realized I misquoted when I was diagnosed. Also, I want to set this straight in case anyone's like a sneaky sleuth. I said I was diagnosed on Valentine's Day. I got confused because I wore my lazy print, my lazy of heart print sweater once, and they made a big deal about it being Valentine's Day. It was not Valentine's Day. I was just wearing a red and pink outfit. Uh, like that level of I'm off. My memory is such crap lately, you guys. I feel like I can't even remember like, oh my God, my sweet friend, Callie, Courtney, Callie O. Um, I promised them that I would give them a little shout out because they've fallen on hard times and are moving out of a not so great living situation. So let me give my shout out here for you, Callie, because I'm so sorry. I just can't even remember like what I ate for breakfast this day, but um, I'm going to leave some information in the description box. My good, sweet friend Callie is moving out to a new situation and is kind of in a bit of a pickle, so I don't often, um, you know, I'm, I'm picky and choosy with all the things that I promote because I know we're all tight on money right now, but, um, if you have anything to spare and want to help out a friend, I'm gonna leave their, like, cash app and stuff below. I just feel like I've been regressing in all of the things that I've been trying to get better at and it's just like this whole new reality COVID quarantine thing is making recovery life and being a better person hard. It has made my sustainability journey really freaking just thrown a wrench in that because it's like everything's wrapped in plastic and I have to get groceries delivered now and they don't accept reusable bags and the bulk burn doesn't accept reusable jars right now and it's just like shipping anything to me takes forever. The fashion show <laughs> just being like no more and maybe I've been it's kind of hit a little bit harder this past week because I realized like okay I my school semester is very nearly almost done and then I'm off for summer and I need to figure out what to do with myself then and then I only have one year left of school ever for evsies for evsies and evsies it's like k through 12 is one whole thing 
And then after that, is college post-secondary maybe for some people? That was what it was for me. I took two years in between, blah, 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 who cares? But it's like K through 12 is like a 13 years. <laughs> and my college experience is only three for me. So like, it's my senior year really fast. And after that, it's like lifetime, dude. And it kind of just, it hit me because I realized, okay, first year fashion's kind of ending now. And there's no big champagne pop. There's no big confetti boom. There's no fashion show. There's no hugging and crying with the current second years that are going to go off and move away and start their collections. It's just like, we're going to have a final Zoom call and then we'll probably see you in September. We hope, maybe, I don't know. And I, like, have also been just... I don't know how much of this I want to talk about on YouTube because it's not fun to listen to someone that you watch talk about how they feel like a failure. Like, it makes me feel bad to watch people I look up to be like, I've passed my peak and I suck now. But, like, I've kind of been getting a bit of that bullshit in my head can we please get that bullshit out of my head obviously i'm not posting three times a week and posting all the time on instagram and i'm not buying new hauls of clothes and wearing new outfits every day and i'm just not creating as much content but oh it's like i straight up the energy and brain power and time and just the effort and energy that it takes now it takes so much more than it used to dude i literally feel like i'm 80 years old or maybe it's because we're in the middle of a global pandemic and i'm in flight or fight constantly and my fight flight fawn freeze is freeze so i've been dissociating for five minutes in between three minutes of every 15 minute task and it's just like i'm running in slow motion i am the youtube player with it on like Point two five, mom and i don't like forgetting calls with my friends and i don't like missing messages and i don't like just being so distant with everyone but i i, I don't have the energy to look at my inbox sometimes and i don't have it just sometimes i look at the app for my gmail or the messenger app and I actually have to look away because I, I, I just get a lurch of nausea and I actually have to distract myself with something else or I'll throw up. My anxiety around instant messaging is so irrational and it has always been this way forever. One of my best friends in this world, Jonathan, has been one of my closest friends since middle school and we had an itty bitty falling out in between middle school and high school because they were like why don't you come to my house and like why don't you always respond to my messages and like are you a bad friend and i was like am i a bad friend i don't want to be a bad friend but it never got easier for me like i still just panic i sweat and i just like i can't handle the immediacy of this digital communication life and and that's all we have now right i i don't get the relief of going to school and seeing people in person and talking to people in person and using my body language and my voice and my tone and and, and it's just oh my god i'm i've always struggled with communication and if you're watching this and i haven't replied to to a call or a message i really hope you know that i love you <laughs> oh my god it's just like i have lost friends this way but it doesn't get easier for me to keep up it's just so frustrating so i've i've started just kind of trying to communicate my my struggle with it and saying you know please like can, can we set up like an appointment to call like if if someone calls me or messages me out of the blue like it just oh my god dude who <laughs> I will throw my phone out the window and pretend I never had an iPhone. It sends me into a panic and it's it's irrational. And I know it's irrational and I just that's where my rationality stops. What else can we talk about in this in this little pink car of tears? It's been really hard to adapt to everything being digital 
and online for sure which is weird because my life is online and my job is the internet and you'd think that I'd kind of be like great I just get to sit in my house and take Instagram pics and you know play Animal Crossing and be a vlogger but um no mom I definitely definitely want to touch and smeal touch and smeal Ooh. I definitely um, was starting to have a long longing, a long longing. <laughs> I definitely got to a point where I was like playing Animal Crossing and I was like, this is pretty sick and these graphics are pretty nice and like these sound effects are nice, but I want to touch a real tree. I want to walk in the real grass. I'd like to plant a real flower. And some of y'all probably have been like going for walks and drives and, and smelling the earth since this thing started, but I really haven't. I definitely, like I'm, we've been taking the quarantine seriously, seriously, very, very seriously to the point where maybe, Steve, maybe we should get out a little bit more. <laughs> Cause even like I've gone for a couple of drives and that's been starting to be helpful. The drive to this mysterious uh, field was nice. Just God, like wind and hair and looking at other buildings, other people, dog, duck, plane, you know? It's still happening. Still dogs, still ducks, still planes. Uh, planes are a little complicated. Dogs, ducks, dogs, ducks. It is very, very hot and sweaty in this car. I'm going to, this is gonna be the time limit on this, is how long can I stand the heat. I'm sorry if I look a mess, but um, hey, I put on my makeup, I put on an outfit, I drove in my car, I found a spot, um, and I spilt the pixie tea. Which is not much tea, it's just more, I just honestly just wanted to sit down and have like a, a little heart to heart. Uh, maybe I'll put the comment that suggested a chill mental health drive in my car style video. I love watching these two from other people and um, yeah, I wanted, I, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh my God, this lighting, hello. I'm definitely not the worst, like I'm not fully, <laughs> Maybe I'm a little bit losing it, but like I'm I'm happy on a day-to-day -day basis. I am extremely, extremely fortunate and thankful that I live with a kind, sweet, loving soul, Steve, who cares for me and loves me and who I love and care for. I think we have a pretty good system, a beautiful ecosystem in the Pixie Pad townhouse where we kind of take turns um losing it and comforting one another with this whole weird reality so um steve i love you thank you for keeping me sane um there's no one else i would rather be quarantined with um i do miss my mom but my mom and i have started doing weekly making the cut watch parties mom uh, making the cut with tim gunn and heidi klum i'm really sweaty i need to go okay maybe uh yes Yes, we're reaching a level where, like, my hair is becoming moisturized when it didn't need to be. I love you guys very, very much. Thank you for watching this. Um, please give me your feedback. I haven't done a video like this in quite a long, long time. So let me know if you vibed, if you chilled, or if this kind of stream of consciousness, heart-to-heart, chit-chat style of vlog is just too personal for you. I don't know. Do you feel like you're in the passenger seat? Let me out. Anyway, I love you guys very, very much. And I'll see you in the next video, which is not this one because this one's over. Bye.